Hey, it's me again, and it's you again. We're here hanging out. We're gonna do some drawing. I hope you have a pencil or a pen and some paper. Let's have some fun together. But first I wanna ask you, how are you feeling today? Is this weird? Is it weird being home all the time? I think it's kind of strange. I feel it too. You know, they've told us uh, we have to stay home. In my town, we're only allowed to get out if we ride a camel. Is that a rule they have where you live? Very interesting. Anyway, I don't have a camel, so I just have to stay here. I think we'll do some drawing. Let's get to it, okay? We'll start with the same thing we did yesterday. And this is the you draw it section. So the you draw it section of our day is where I draw something and then you draw it with me. And let's start with a letter A, but I want you to draw it like this. I'm gonna make the first part of the A here. This is a capital letter, by the way. And then on the right side, I'm gonna make it longer like that. All right, I know you can do that. Then watch what I do for the crossbar of the A. I'm gonna do this, but then look, I'm gonna make it longer on this side and longer on the other side, just like that. So far, so good? Okay. So you kind of have a letter A, but you have lines that are coming outside on the left and outside on the right. And you got one long one down on the right side as well. All right, now we're gonna draw just a little line in like that. All righty. And then back out, kind of like a zigzag or a flash of lightning. You know, that lightning scar on Harry Potter's forehead, something like that shape. And then I'm just going to come back over here and meet up with that line we drew. And that's where we're going to stop for a moment because I want to make sure everybody's caught up. Okay. Ready? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a little line coming down from here like that. Okay. And then remember this line we drew off to the right? that first long line right here. Well, watch this. I'm gonna draw a sort of a C curve right off like that. It doesn't have to be exactly the same length I drew it. it doesn't have to be exactly the same kind of curve. It doesn't matter. All right, now starting over here again, watch this. I'm gonna draw a line straight down a little longer than the other line I drew. Alrighty. And now I'm going to connect this line with this line. Here we go. Whoop. Could be a straight line, could be a wiggly line. It doesn't matter. Do it however you want. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a straight line out this way like that. Okay. And now we're going to reveal what we've got going on here. Maybe some of you've already figured it out. I'm going to draw a little line up here. Okay. And then a line across right to the front there. And then a big C curve upside down like that. And I'm just going to color in this little area. Okay. And now make a wavy line. Okay. And another wavy line. And then I'm going to make some of these wavy lines come out the back like that because we are drawing a witch on a broomstick. Okay. Now remember this front of the broomstick. This is the long line we drew out here. We need to carry that on out the other side. Okay. And then we need to draw the bristles of the broom. Well, here's how I like to do that. I like to make a letter C like this. Okay. And then make a straight line 
and a straight line. And then a few straight lines in between like that. Boom, there you have a broom. If you want to, you can make a few lines here too. That's fine. And now for her funny little legs kicking out the back, watch this, little line like that. And then a straight line. And then one little line like this and one little line like that, okay? And then I'm gonna do another one much smaller right there. Okay, there are her two funny little legs. Now, if you want to, you could draw a little cat. Anybody wanna draw a cat? Let me look at the chat and see if anybody wants to do this. I see somebody asking, is this live or pre-recorded? This is happening right now, folks. Hmm. Somebody already said they want a cat. I guess it has to happen. All right. Well, why don't we just draw a cat? Now watch how easy this is. You can really draw a cat with just a few lines. I'm gonna do this. Draw a line straight down, right there. And then I'm going to come over and around like that. It's kind of like a lowercase n. And then from here, I'm gonna come down again, like a curve. Everybody with me? And then watch this, a little line like that. And then make a circle or kind of an oval up here on the top. A little triangle there. And a little triangle here. Okay. Now watch this for the eyes. I'm just going to make a line and a line little diagonal lines like that. And finally, a little line across, and then a W, double U, like that. There's that funny cat face. And for the tail, and just drop it down like that. Look at that. You're able to draw a witch on a broomstick with a cat. Just a few simple shapes. We have a letter A in there. We just extended that A down. We have a letter C for the back of the broomstick. We have a kitty cat sitting on the front. That was just a big curve, straight line, an oval. Now you can do whatever you want with this. You wanna add some personality to it. You wanna change it. You wanna color it, make it your own. There are a lot of things you could do. You could change the hairstyle of the witch. You could add an eyebrow like this, make her look nasty, right? You could add a band to the hat, maybe like that. And you could add maybe a little buckle in the front. It doesn't matter. I leave it up to you. Okay. And that concludes the you draw it portion of the day. So we're going to move along to something that I really like. This is called Fulja. And I did this yesterday. I'm not sure who tuned in yesterday and who saw the Fulja. The way it works is I'm just going to draw something and I want you to tell me what it is. And that's really all there is to it. So why don't we take this witch and shrink her down with our magic shrinking powder. So I'm just going to put some shrinking powder on her and then she shrinks down, pop her off there to the right. All right, now pay attention. I want you to tell me what I'm drawing. Here we go. All right. Start with this, and then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing again. All right. Okie dokie. Now, come out this way and out this way. Are you with me so far? Now we go up and up on this side. And then we go across, across. It's starting to look like something. Up and over. 
little line here and here. Am I making this too easy? Has anybody figured this out yet? Let me look here in the chat. A car, a car, this looks like a car to you? Really? Hmm. Does this look like a car to anybody else? All right, well, let me read the guesses here. Car, 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 van, frog, <laughs> Ed, car. Hmm. Well, folks, I'm sorry to tell you that once again, just like yesterday, I have fooled you. Now, I'm not doing this to be mean, but really, remember, you have to look at things a little differently. I'll just turn this upside down for a moment, and then I want you to notice that what this actually is, is a happy robot. Was that not obvious when I first did it? I, I could have sworn people would see this. There's a smile. Smiling robot. Draw a little line there and there and then up and around. See, I thought for sure you guys would notice this. I have to make these easier, don't I? Let's give them one of those cool springy things, like a receiver of some kind. He's all shiny and happy. There you go. Happy, shiny robot. Well, you know, I thought for sure this one would be obvious. We'll try again tomorrow and see how we do, okay? Alrighty, let's turn that back around. And once again, I'm going to use my magic shrinking powder and shrink our happy robot. I'm even going to flip him right side up, and pop him over there with the cat and the broom and the witch. So now we come to a game that I want you to try playing at home. This is something you could play with anybody. You play with a brother or sister, a cousin, an aunt, an uncle, a dog, if your dog knows how to draw. And this is how it works. It's called the Doodle Game. Some of you might already know this game. And if so, great. If not, let's check it out. So here's how it works. You take a piece of paper and you take a pen or a marker or a pencil or a crayon and you make a shape like maybe this, okay? Something simple. It's not really a shape, is it? It's a line. Make a line. The line can have some curves in it. It could be straight, it could be zigzag. And you just pass the paper over to your friend who's going to play this with you and you say, go. And you give them a minute or two. And in that minute or two, they have to look at it and they have to figure out, hmm, what could it be? They can spin the paper around and they can look until they say, oh, I see something, right? And then they make a little drawing. So here is somebody about to sneeze. That face you make when you're about to sneeze, right? Look at that. Oh, you can feel it. It's coming. That sneeze is almost there, right? But he hasn't quite done it yet. And look at that. We took that first shape. We turned it into something. Now, what you do doesn't have to be that complicated. It could be much simpler, but that's how the game works. So why don't we try another one? This time, though, I'm going to make a doodle. And I'm going to look in the chat and see if anybody has an idea if they see something. OK, so here we go. Zig, zag and around. There we go. That's my first shape. So 
Let's see, does anybody see anything? Hmm. All right, I'm checking out the comments here. Tell me what you see. Zigzag and around. And remember, I can rotate it this way or that way. We can go all the way around. Do you see anything? What's it looking like to you? Anything like this? Does that look like something? Or like that? Or like that? I want to know. Birds in flight. I like it. Bird in flight, a rocket, half of a tree, an arrow pointing downward, a fish, belly and a face. Hmm, a fish. I see a fish too. Let's draw the fish. Great suggestion. So here we go. Fishy, fishy. And around. Give that fish an eye. So he's happy right there. And I think we'll draw a little fin. And some gills. How about another fin right there? And watch, I'm gonna get fancy. I'm gonna curl that tail behind. Woof. Art school, folks. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Fishy, fishy. What were some other things people saw? Shark fin, sea animal, chicken beak. I like that. A chicken beak. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, with the magic of my computer, I'm actually going to rewind time. We've seen a fish, right? Well, let's throw it back. Look at this. <gasps> back to where I started. Chicken beak. Interesting. So would that be a chicken like this? Like a rooster? Is that what you're seeing? Something like that? Maybe that's what you're seeing, huh? I wonder. Look at that. It could be anything. Let's do another one. Shrink you down. Magic shrinking powder. All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Um, one, two, three. That's it. Now, remember? Spin it around. What do you see? Could be anything. Open mouth bird. Cotton candy. I like that. Hmm, what else? What else? A cello. It is a cello. I think it does look like a cello. Yeah, very much. I like that. A cello is difficult to draw. I wonder if I could even do that. Whew. Could be a guitar as well. I bet I could do a guitar. Banana split. <laughs> Oh, banana split, banana split. All right, I like that. We got ice cream here. Let's throw another scoop on there. Cherry, look at that. Banana split. And we got to put it in a bowl. Hmm. I like that. Put those wafers that they use, right? Banana split, and last but not least, a spoon to eat it with. I like that banana split idea. That's fun. Guitar, a vase, a vase. Yeah, igloos in Alaska. Oh, that's a cool one too. I like that too. <gasps> Let's rewind the magic of rewinding. Whoa, we're traveling in time. That's where we were. Igloos, great idea, look. Igloo, igloo, the door over here. Right, I could even erase away this little bit. And all of a sudden, we're in the igloo, just like that. And there's our igloo, I like that. 
And some mountains in the background. And it's sunny outside. How's that? Okie dokie, now. We'll do one more quick one. Are you ready? Shrink this down. <laughs> Pop it over there. You can see what we've drawn today. Here we go. We'll get, this one's going to be fast. You ready? Zigzag. Okay. So this one's a little, it's a curvilinear shape. Could be anything, right? Who knows? Could be anything. I want you to figure it out. Let's see what we have. Crocodile eye. Crocodile eye. Oh, that must have been for the last one, a crocodile eye. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, you like the sound effects? I got to do more of those. A giant nose. That's it. Boom. I, I'm sorry, but I just have to do it. Giant nose. The first thing you saw, I see it too. Let's spin around this way and Let's take it and move it so I have room on my paper. There we go. And I'm going to give this a mustache too. It kind of just needs it, doesn't it? There we go. And there is somebody with a giant nose, bushy eyebrows, mustache. I smell something all the time because my nose is so big, right? And that's what he's saying right here. So you see how fun that is? You can play this with anybody. Play it with a friend, right? Try this out. Pass it back and forth. Be fast with it. Don't worry about making a great drawing, a masterpiece of any kind. That is not the point. The point is to just cook up some cool ideas be creative and have fun. Thank you for all the amazing suggestions. There were so many of them. Elephant, Mario, Tongue, Spoon, Chameleon, tons. Now let's finish off with a little art tip. Okay, now I like to give these little art tips at the end if I can. People always say, I can't draw hands. I can't draw hands. Let me show you a little secret to drawing hands. Are you ready? All right, I'm going to use a light color. I'm going to draw kind of a rectangle. It's a square, but it's a little taller than it is wide, okay? You can try this at home. Then take that same rectangle and draw it on top of itself. So you're doubling the rectangle. Draw the rectangle, double it. Now what you've just done is you've drawn the bottom rectangle. That's the area of your palm. The upper rectangle is the fingers. And all you have to do now is kind of draw a line inwards from the first rectangle up and then inwards from the second rectangle. I mean, the second side of it up like that. And right in the middle, you can draw a line. And remember, you've got four fingers, right? So each finger is going to be roughly two sides of that. Now the first finger is shorter, the middle is the longest, the third is about the same or a little longer than the first, and the pinky is the smallest. Okay? Now here's something people mess up a lot. They don't put the thumb in the right place. So here we go. The thumb has to come off the side. Okay? And about halfway up that first square. And then up a little bit past where the fingers start. And then in. Look at that. And there you have a hand with about the proper dimensions. Okay. So if I draw on top of that, I want you to see how that looks. One finger, two fingers, three, and four. People always forget to draw the palm big enough. Okay. Knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. So remember that next time you try and draw a hand, a handy little trick. See what I did there? All right. Well, that once again has been a fun time together with you. And I appreciate you taking time to watch, to learn, to draw with me. I hope you had fun. We're going to do this again tomorrow. 
So come on back, bring your paper, bring your pencil, bring your pen, bring your marker, and we're going to have a good old time. Everybody stay safe, stay happy, and have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.